Now the reactivity involving uh, phenol is interesting because now I have benzene attached to your OH group. So what we are interested in discussing is how would the presence of your benzene affect the reactivity of your OH group and vice versa because I have two functional groups A attached to B. So how would functional group A affect the reactivity of B and how would functional group B affect the reactivity of A? So we want to know how they affect each other. So now what I have is benzene attached to OH group. So the first thing we want to discuss is how would the presence of your benzene affect the reactivity of your alcohol functional group. Now, what we recall previously when we discuss alcohol functional group is we say that, okay, alcohols, we have two bonds that we can break. I can break the carbon oxygen bond. So there are some reactions involving the breaking of your CO bond. And we have the OH bond to be broken. And there are other types of reactions targeting the breaking of your OH bond. So now when we consider when your OH group is attached to benzene, what is interesting is the CO bond is actually stabilized by resonance. Now in the notes, we have this cartoon or this diagram, which more or less shows that the lone pair of my oxygen can interact with benzene. So the delocalized pi system, this ring will represent the delocalized pi system is extended to your CO bond. So the CO bond is stabilized by resonance. I have the exact same thing here. Is that this diagram here? So this ring, this orange ring, will represent the delocalized pi system. Again, how we view resonance stability is you can treat it as an overhead shelter. So if let's say you're sheltered by this delocalized pi system, you'll be protected to a certain extent. So this additional stability, we call this resonance stability. So my six carbon in benzene is being sheltered by this delocalized ring overhead. So this six carbon will be stabilized by resonance. Now what oxygen is doing is it is using the lone pair interact with benzene. So now the delocalization is extended to your CO bond. So the delocalized pi system now can move around my six carbon. It can go out to the C double bond or the CO group and then come back in. So now you notice this CO bond overhead, there's also this shelter, also protected by this delocalized pi system. The CO bond will also be stabilized by resonance. And if it is stabilized by resonance, it is very stable. We will not be able to break this bond. So the consequence is, since I cannot break the carbon oxygen bond, many of the reactions that we expect for alcohols, because alcohol we mentioned earlier, alcohol, there are two bonds I can break. I can break the CO bond, I can break the OH bond. So now involving phenol, we cannot break the carbon oxygen bond. So effectively, a lot of reactions that applies to alcohol actually no longer apply to phenol. Just based on a very simple idea that the OH group is attached to benzene and the CO bond is stabilized by resonance. So we want to appreciate that actually resonance stability uh, actually really affect the reactivity of all the functional groups that it is attached to. Then after we do arene function group, after we do benzene function group, uh, consistently when we encounter uh, some functional group is attached to benzene, the reactivity of this guy is affected to a very significant extent. So we want to appreciate that. And this is yet another manifestation involving this. When your OH group, so-called alcohol group, is attached to benzene, CO bond not broken, so there's no substitution reaction, no elimination reaction. So let us compare the types of reaction involving our normal alcohol and phenol. So these are the reactions that we will expect alcohol to take part in. Undergo nucleophilic substitution, which is the breaking of your CO bond. Elimination, which is the breaking of the CO bond. Oxidation, which involves the breaking of your CH bond. Acid base reaction is targeting OH bond. Condensation reaction to form ester is also targeting the breaking of your OH bond. So we do expect alcohol to take part in all these reactions that we have discussed previously. Now remember, oxidation of course only applies to primary and secondary alcohol. Tertiary alcohol resistant to oxidation. Now we cannot oxidize tertiary alcohols. And acid base reaction, yes, for alcohol. Condensation reaction, of course, applies to alcohol as well. But if I consider phenol functional group, earlier we've mentioned the CO bond is stabilized by resonance, so I cannot break the CO bond, and there's no nucleophilic substitution involving phenol. There's no elimination reaction involving phenol. Oxidation also doesn't apply to phenol because the phenol carbon, that means this carbon here, this carbon, which is directly attached to your OH group, it doesn't have a hydrogen. So if it doesn't have a hydrogen, then it means that I cannot 
oxidize this carbon. So in syllabus, phenol cannot undergo oxidation. So phenol carbon cannot undergo oxidation. So if I compare this with the reactions involving alcohol, alcohol can undergo substitution, elimination, oxidation. It doesn't apply to phenol at all, right? Then acid base reaction, yes, it applies to phenol because of the presence of the OH group. The OH group is still there. It still can be broken. Condensation reaction, yes, still applies to phenol functional group. Now, I think I've also written the comparison involving the reactivity here. Now, what is interesting is if you look at the reactivity, phenol, if I compare acid base uh, reaction, phenol is actually more acidic than alcohols. Later, we will actually have a discussion to talk about it. But if I consider condensation reaction, actually phenol is a weaker uh, nucleophile for condensation reaction. We will try to explain this along the way, but you notice uh, what is interesting is if I compare the reactivity involving alcohols versus phenol, actually depending on the type of reaction, the reactivity is actually different. If we consider acid-base reaction, phenol is more reactive, it is a stronger acid. But if I consider condensation reaction, phenol is actually less reactive, it is a weaker nucleophile. So when we compare reactivity, it's actually not clear-cut saying that, oh, if phenol is more reactive, it is always more reactive than alcohol, regardless of the type of reaction. Actually, it doesn't, it doesn't work this way. So we have to consider the type of reaction and what is the mechanism, what are the factors affecting that particular reaction. And then from there, we can compare reactivity from there. So I think this is interesting also, uh, just to take note of that. If I compare the reactivity involving alcohols and phenol, actually phenol more reactive for acid-base reaction, but less reactive for condensation reaction. So it's not across the board. We don't want to have all this generalization Usually, generalization uh, is not useful, uh, it's misleading also.